during those hours is a free for all for trouble. And then we have actually breaking at 9-11, basically saying the same thing. What could go wrong? Pittsburgh police will stop sending officers to certain emergency calls. We'll redirect them to telephone unit. I want you guys to take a look at this video because this is basically uh, the city of Pittsburgh. The police officer crew is basically giving Pittsburgh major update changes right from their city. So let's take a look. So when there's a uh, event that doesn't require, it's, it's not in progress, we're going to take and reroute that call to our telephone reporting unit, which will be operational from 7 a.m. to 3 a.m. Uh, and then the hours from 3 a.m. to 7, uh, those calls will be queued up for the person that comes in at 7 a.m. to take the reports in the morning. You heard what he said, you know, there's major updates going on right now. And if you're in trouble, you're on your own. You'll call 11 and it's a chat, not a rescue. Just 20 officers covering all the Pittsburgh in the wee hours. They say it's enough, but hey, if you... Call all Yahweh Bakshim Yahushai. Want to give all praise and glory and honor to Yahweh Bakshim Yahushai, Bakshim Bakakadash. And uh, Shalom, Lubakari, Mishon, Yahshua. I want to give double honor to my apostles and elders. Of great millstone who who well. <clears throat> and, and as you can see, man, you know, we've been saying this over and over. You know, the men of the Lord, the apostles, that a great insurrection is coming. It's going to be sedition among men. The Egyptians shall fight against the Egyptian here in Babylon, the great America, man. All right, America is already being set up by the Lord. The Lord is doing this. It's going to be havoc. You know, you know what this is going to bring? It's going to bring anarchy and more violence. And this is just Pittsburgh. This is going to spread as we get closer to Armageddon, the last war. The personnel, military, people are going to get drafted. You know, there's not going to be uh, uh, enough police, the National Guards, uh, military, martial law. Everything is coming in, in perfection through the spirit of Yahweh about Shem Shai. So we see Jacob's trouble. It's very, it's, it's very crystal clear to us. You're not going to be able, if, if you're getting... You get if you getting shot at you, you somebody break into your home at three o'clock in the morning, three thirty in the morning. You call nine one one. Guess what? You're not going to be. You're not going to be able to get any help. You're going to be on your own. And what this is going to do is going to have a lot of Americans, which they're already doing. A lot of people they're gonna they're gonna take action on their own. They're gonna start arming themselves. They're going to buy weapons, you know, and, and it's just going to, this is, this is what the, the uh, these devils want, man. Remember, these devils want chaos, all right? They want anarchy. They want sedition, all right? And these, these are just one of the components that are, that are, that they are implementing in order to bring in the new world order or the karagma, the karats, the MOTB, right? This is the devil we're speaking about. We're talking about from three o'clock in the morning to seven, you ain't gonna get a, any help. You on your own in Pittsburgh, man. You know? And that's gonna create chaos, man. Let's get um second as 13. And 29, behold, the days come when the Most High will begin to deliver them that are upon the earth, and he shall come to the astonishment of them that dwell on the earth. And one shall undertake the fight against another, one city against another, one place against another, one people against another, and one realm against another. That's what you call class wars, city wars, race wars, civil wars. Sedition. All right. And this is what this devil is doing. He's conjuring up violence because this is all he 
uh, 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 this is his doing. All right? And we got to prepare ourselves through the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahshai because there's going to be a lot of death around us. There's going to be a lot of violence going on. And we know that the Lord is going to uh, protect us, man, through the spirit. <clears throat> Let's get uh, Psalms 37. All right, let's get that real quick. Psalms 37. All right. Verse 7. Rest in the Lord, Yahweh. All right. And wait patiently for him. And that's what we're doing. We're waiting patiently. We, because we, we, we know through the Spirit that we have to wait for Yahweh. We can't. Try to beat this man on our own. It's impossible. We have nothing. All right. The scriptures say, uh, the Lord said he would give uh, strength to the weary. You know, we're weary. We're going to need strength. We're going to need divine intervention. That's why the scripture constantly goes into the Lord giving us Specific instructions and waiting for him patiently. All right, fret not thyself. Don't go crazy when all hell break loose and you hear your next door neighbor getting killed or women screaming, children and shootouts outside the streets and you know pillaging the stores and you know all types of the hours. You know, this is the time we're about the approach. When you think about what happened to ancient uh, Egypt, there was a cry in Egypt, man. The first sons, you know, were being uh, slaughtered by the death angel. All right. And, you know, the death angel passed over the children of Israel. Now this time on, moving up forward 2024, the Heavenly Father is going to pass over judgment. He's going to pass over the elect, the elect lady and their children. We hope that we will be part of that number. There's going to be a lot of miracles, man, that are going to be performed by Yahweh Hashem Yahweh on our aid, to be our aid. That's why it says, fret not thyself because of him who is this him, Esau, who prospereth in his way because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass. So we know that see the Heavenly Father has given us, you know, this man's whole character, his characteristics, you know, the, the, uh, the nature of this devil, his slick ways, his schemes, his traps, his snares, his talk. You know? What does scripture say? Uh, let's go there real quick. Oh man, let's go to Psalms. Uh, let me see. Psalms 55, right? Let's go there. Is it 55? Yep, this is it. Let me read this all the way down. Okay, let's read this. Psalms 55 and 20. He had put forth his hands against such as be at peace with him. He had broken his covenant. And when you think about Esau, you know, he has always done this. He did this to our brothers, Gad, Native Americans, Reuben. He has done this over and over. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter. But war was in his heart. His words were softer than oil, yet were they drawn sword. See, the Lord has given us, you know, who this devil is. You know? And he wants to bring chaos. He, he wants to show the world that he is that lamb. But remember, he had two horns, one like a lamb, but he spoke as a dragon. All right? He spoke as a dragon. He has that draconian spirit. 
Esau has always had that draconian spirit. All right. So let's listen to this man a little bit. Uh, you are me hiding from a burglar at 3 a.m. Jotting down the art deals for the record is not going to cut it at all. I mean, we're looking at major changes, no cops for what they're calling non-emergency stuff. Basically, they're saying you got an issue, you're talking it over over the phone. And yeah, this is happening because basically they're short on police. Way short. I mean, 20 officers, that's really short. So everyone's talking, including the residents, the council, even the police union. This isn't just a little shakeup. It's a whole new game. But let's talk about what could go wrong. Pittsburgh has basically rolled out the red carpet for trouble. A four-hour window where it's open season for crime. That's unheard of. You dial 911 hoping for help and what? You get a whole time longer than your music playlist. I mean, this move that they're trying to make, it's a big gamble. And if crime spikes, you got to wonder, will other cities follow suit? Because a lot of other... Yeah, that's what's going to happen. This is just the beginning. So we see this man setting up shop for violence. All right. Right. This man is it, it, death himself. He is hell. He's bringing hell with him. He is the border of wickedness. The cities are actually short on polices, too. Imagine a trend where calling for help gets you a wait time instead of an actual response. They might even include AI in this stuff, right? AI police. I mean, who's to know what's really going to go on behind this stuff? I mean, maybe they're using new technology to help with this. I mean, that's what it sounds like. I mean, they're using AI to give you guys robotic responses. I mean, it's a wild thought, right? But here we are. Pittsburgh's experiment could be a sign of things to come elsewhere if we're not careful. It's kind of funny in a you gotta laugh or you'll cry way. Hello, this is 911. Your whole time is now four hours. Yeah, that type of you laugh or cry later. But for real, this is a developing story that's going to need some serious attention. So you got to keep your eye on this one. They basically told criminals, here's your shot. And that's something we've got to talk about. What do you think? If crime does jump up, could this be the new normal? What do we think? Well... We know what Yahabashim Yahusha knows and what he has passed down to his men. Okay? Okay, let's read it. Second Edges 15 and 14. Woe to the world and them that dwell in it, dwell therein. For the sword and their destruction draw nigh. And one people should stand up and fight against another and swords in their hands. And those are uh, people, uh, they're, they're people already arming themselves now. All right. For there should be sedition among men. And that's an uprising against the government. And invading one another, they should not regard their kings nor princes. And the course of their actions should stand in their power. And you heard what she said. You know? There's there's a um there's a uh there's a um a short uh personnel military they don't have enough police you know hey this city hey, the Lord is is <laughs> the Lord is really bruising Babylon the Great man all right because of their pride the city shall be waste to lack it a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able, that's your roadblocks, for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. That's why we constantly say, fear the Lord. Because every father is about to start judging a lot of you Israelites. A lot of you men are going to be afraid, man. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil you their goods because of their lack of bread. And for great tribulation, man. All right? And that's what the Lord's coming to do, man. All right? So. In coming, other man. places, Listen too. Drop your thoughts and, hey, hit that subscribe button for more updates. <clears throat> there you go, man. Call hello, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know, all praise and glory and honor to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai.
Call on Lord Yah by Shimmy Up Shai. Double on to my pastors and elders of Great Millstone. Well, shalom to the old collector at the end of the elect lady. Brothers and sisters, my sincere brothers and sisters, to the house of mourning, to the house of faith. Just stay prayed up. Continue to meditate in your mind. You know, shalom.